Okay, welcome back students. We are going to finish unit four with the reading section. I'm going to play you this audio and it is going to be this entire section with the letter. So please make sure that you listen and read along in your book. And remember, you can listen as many times as you need to. Page 30, reading. Satisfaction not guaranteed. Satisfaction is the level of approval by the customer of a product or service. Customers complain when they are not happy with a product or service. The following are a couple of the most unusual or outrageous complaints from customers that managers have received in recent years. At the frozen food department, why is it always so cold in this part of the store? I wish they'd turn up the heat. I need a jacket. A television was returned because the picture was not clear. The customer was told that he had to take the film off the screen. He insisted that he had not been informed of that procedure when he bought the set, and so he demanded his money back. One customer complained to a telephone company because its customer service was too good. He complained that the company was wasting too much money on training employees on how to handle customer service. However, many customer complaints are real ones, but the problems often do not receive the attention or resolution they deserve from a company. Here are some issues. A failure to take complaints seriously or even acknowledge there is a problem. Staff who cannot understand that you are not a technical expert but need simple basic assistance. And worst of all, staff who are downright rude and not polite. Confusing recorded instructions which result in you being passed from department to department. Technicians who do not keep their appointments. Here is an example of a customer complaint letter. How do you think that the company will or should respond? Subscriber information. Name, Barbara Phillips. Email, barbaraphi at worldnet.com. Telephone number, 1234-5678. Postal address, 329 Park Avenue, Brookfield. Customer Service Supervision, Supervisor WorldNet Communications Company. Dear Sir or Madam, I'm writing to complain about your service. I've been a subscriber for six months, and I've been having problems constantly. My internet has been down two or three times a week, and I get cut off on my phone regularly. During the period I've been using your services, I've filed several complaints. Please look up your records. I was kept on hold by your attendants for hours, and on two occasions, they were downright rude. Despite my complaints, the problem remains unsolved. Could you please look into this matter? I look forward to hearing from you. Yours, Barbara Phillips. All right, so that is all the information on page 30. Let's go to this section about the reading. So answer the questions. Why do customers complain about the frozen food department? What did they say? They said it is too cold. All right, the reason why this is not really seen as a real complaint is it's the frozen food. It has to be frozen, which means it has to be cold. So that's why. Number two, what's the worst complaint about customer service attendance? All right. Let's see here. That one would be that they are rude and not polite. The worst of all, they are rude and not polite. Number three, how long has Barbara had the problem? 
All right, so she says, I have been a subscriber for six months and I have been having problems constantly. So six months. Barbara has had the problem for six months. What has been done about it? It is the problem. And despite my complaints, the problem remains unsolved. So unsolved means that nothing has been done about it. Nothing. All right, let's go to academic vocabulary. All right, this was a little confusing. I apologize for that. So let's work through this together. So in the third paragraph of the real customer complaints, that's talking about, I believe, this section. It says, recognize as a fact or truth that word is acknowledge. Acknowledge. Uh, acknowledge. There you go. So we will write that for you here. Acknowledge. A person with a high degree of skill in a certain area is a technical expert. All right. Technical expert. Help and support. That is assistance. Assistance. Information on how to use or operate something is instructions. All right. So these are the words. These are the definitions. Practice reading these to yourselves. And then in the complaint letter, always or regularly, always or regularly is constantly. Sent or submitted officially is I have filed several complaints. When you use the word filed, that means official. I have filed. Even in the face of an opposing fact or action. So despite my complaints, the problem remains unsolved. So this one is despite. All right. So there you go. And the speaking section. So what do you think? What advice would you give Barbara? I would tell her to cancel her subscription to their service. You may have other advice. Write your advice here or in your notebook. Number two, what are the things people complain the most about in your country? Well, in my country, people complain about dumb things like it's cold in the frozen food. All right. So the, the food has to be frozen. Of course, it's going to be cold. Or people complain about fast food. It takes five minutes to get their food, and they complain about that. When five minutes is fast. All right, there's a lot of other things. You can write down what you hear in your country. Number three, have you ever complained about goods or services? Yeah, I've complained about stuff before. Uh, here, actually, I bought a lock from Sinsa, and it didn't work. So... I, I took it back and they told me that they were sorry, but they couldn't do anything about it. So I just lost money on that one. And number four, did you ever want to complain about something, but then you decided it wasn't worth it? Ah, yeah. I don't even know how many times, but sometimes it's like, you know what? It's just not worth my time. Like my time is more valuable, so I'm not even going to deal with it. Or if I recognize that, I'm really like upset about something and I need to calm down. I'll, I'll just go home. So in your notebook or here in the space, please answer these in your book. So that is it for unit four.
Thank you for following along. And remember, listen and repeat, listen and repeat, listen and repeat. And if you have questions, please send me a message. I miss you guys and I'll see you later. Adios.